Hey guys, welcome. It's Groovus X, and I wanted to thank you for your time. And you saw the caption for the evolution of Dungeon Crusade. So let's take a look. Again, this is concept art. Um, all of the hero cards, first of all, welcome. Thank you for your time. Um, all of the hero cards are gone. Here's the concept art for the new heroes. And they all now have new stats, new cards I'm going to show you. Um, inventory, they can carry two items with them. So there's the warrior. There's going to be six classes. Um, the other two aren't shown. is the cleric and the um, wizard. So there's that one. Here's the archer. And again, this is not going to be really what the art's going to look like. It's going to probably be similar, but a professional 2D artist is going to be doing all of all of this. Um, so I have a lot of news about that. I just wanted to go over some of these cards to show you. Um, these are kind of the, these are the playtest ones, but for what it is, I think they look really nice and they fit the Dungeon Crusade theme. I'm going for that retro look. And so it's the Barbarian. And take note, I'm going to explain to you. If you notice now, um, the heroes go up to level 3, um, XP to level, and we'll touch on all this here, but notice that there's these um, dice symbols, they're D20s in the corner, and I'm going to get to that. So here's the village, and let's go over, as you know, if, unless you're just joining us, there's the new treasure card design. Again, this is concept art, but I'm, I want it to look something like this when it's done. Merchant shop with all of the common uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary equipment. Um, over down here at the temple, this is kind of what I'm going for. This is the new blessing card. It's not going to be called fortune anymore, but I'm going for this kind of look for um, blessings. And then, again, the blessings are all getting redone. But what happens is there's the back of it. So I'm going to kind of go for this, I don't know, pastel color retro look but this is one of them here and it's recharge and it means when you get a blessing and flip this one you flip over one of your special or crusader abilities and so we're going to touch on that here in just a second so um, there you go there's the new kind of what i'm going for for the blessings okay so moving along here is the allies realm and this is the, their stats are going to be on the back of this but i'm kind of going for this kind of look for the allies realm cards Hopefully you guys are liking this new direction. I'll tell you, I've been playtesting this, and I'm having a lot of fun with this new combat system. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so let's talk about this. Now let me explain. I didn't put pictures on the special um, cards here. These are all the new special attacks. There's going to be more added, but there's no sense in doing this because these things aren't going to be here. So all I did was just throw some color-coded things up, and so these are nothing fancy. I grabbed some icons off the web just to kind of, you know, Flips them up a bit, and um, I guess we can start here with what these things are and what they're going to do. We'll, we'll take the warriors. There's going to be three kinds of attacks in Dungeon Crusade, and the first one is just like in, I was showing you. When you start out, your hero is a level one, and he rolls one purple d20 when he's attacking, defending, whatever. So your basic attacks are like this. Um, you can use these unlimited times. Heroic Strike, and um, you get a prize if you can say where that's from, you'll probably get it. But plus eight to attack, roll to adjacent monster. Real simple. So then another basic attack is dual attack. You can make two attacks this turn on two different monsters, or one monster, plus two, plus two attack roll. Plus, sorry, plus five to attack roll. Okay, then we move up to their, his special abilities, and everyone's going to have a few of these. And these are on a cooldown now. When you use them, you have to flip them over. But one is um, charge, and basically you just run into someone, and you can take their initiative token. So this is a pretty powerful card, especially if you're going... Um, oh, but you see it the, here. This cannot be used on guardians and lords. And we'll get to the guardians and lords and all that, the hierarchy. Um, we got some defensive stance for special abilities. And that, um, and then I want to get to the big one though. So I'm just saying though, there's going to be defensive things to use also in Dungeon Crusade. And again, excuse the art, but when you're play testing, there's no sense in making fancy stuff up. But this 2D artist that I've secured is going to 
his work is incredible, but I can't quite announce that yet. And lastly, let's talk about these um, Crusader abilities. And what these things are, these are your ultra attacks here. For instance, this is Return of the Champion, and when used, the warrior can take three consecutive turns in a row. And then, of course, you have to flip it. So all of them are very similar like that. Um, the archer has precision shot, and if she doesn't move, you gain a plus 14 to attack roll at range 10. And that would be her. And I kind of like this one. I, I, I lifted this right from Lord of the Rings. Um, if you remember when Legolas, he stuck one of those orcs with an arrow, so I incorporated this. This is kind of OP'd for a special, but it's arrow to the eye. And basically, if you're adjacent, um, you can stick a monster in the eye, give him three unblockable damage, and he loses his initiative token. This is this is probably going to get nerfed a bit because that's a lot. So anyway, there's tons of new attacks. I made a bunch that you're going to see in the scenario. Not now, though, because it's very, very late. Um, what else up here? I want to explain this in Dungeon Crusade. I'm sorry for these white and black. I was going to make them more pretty. This is the hierarchy. And um, in, I, I can't announce who it is yet, but a big news-breaking thing was I have secured minis for this um, Dungeon Crusade game. It's going to be quite a bit of money, but there is going to be a lot of minis. And this company has been very nice to me, and I'm going to announce that maybe in a few days. Once this Kickstarter thing goes live, um, you'll be very happy when you find out what it is. But anyway, let's talk about this hierarchy real quick. In Dungeon Crusade, you'll have minions, and these are like the little grunt guys. Again, these are not the miniatures that will come with the game. These are the D&D minis. These are placeholders. So um, minions are just like your grunts, and you got, you know, there's like three of them. And then you move up, and, these, and then there's going to be champions. And what they do is they'll buff their class. For instance, he would give plus two to um, defense and attack rolls. And I, you saw that in that other video, if you watch that. And then next up is Guardians. And these are like kind of mid-bosses. They're very tough though. And then lastly, the Ultra are Lords. Those are the hardest ones in the game and have tons of hit points and a lot of attacks in that. So that's the hierarchy of that. And then, moving right along, these are going to be in the game. These are bleed tokens. And what happens is, when you get, if these monsters now can do some pretty nasty things, when you, if, um, for instance, these orc archers have a special called Serrugated Arrow, if you get shot with that, if you get hit with that, you have to put a bleed token on you. And on your next turn, you can decide. You can try, you can stop the bleeding, but you can't attack or you can bleed out one hit and continue attacking. So again, player choice, what you want with that. And what else I was gonna show you here? Actually, this was gonna be the scenario I finished. Um, this is gonna be one of the um, dark, this is a dark layer. If you remember, we played on the siege phase and this is a siege tile up here when the heroes break through the door and you know beginning battle. Well, this is a lair. This is when usually there's a big monster, a guardian. Um, something big happens in a lair. And you can tell just by, um, you know, again, the, the whole light and dark thing. I made this look really eerie, creepy, you know, cl black clouds everywhere, shadowing. And um, so, again, the scenario, I guess since the cat's out of the bag, I can tell you. And this is what I thought people's geek meter would go off. And I lifted this from the um, Lord of the Rings in... Um, the Minds of Mori, if you remember the big fight scene. And was it Balin's tomb? Baslin? Baslin's tomb? I think that's what it is. But I kind of want, this is the second part of this scenario where the heroes are here inside the tomb and um, when the second part of the scenario starts, this is the setup. And you have to fight all these orcs and the ogre. So um, I can't believe this went this fast. I'm coming up on the 10 minute mark and tomorrow I'm going to get this filmed. So Look forward to this, Avenging the Fallen. So hopefully you like everything you saw, the new hero, oh, I didn't even touch on these. These are the monster cards we'll be using. Tomorrow again, they all have new stats, they can move, they have range. Um, there's a guardian card for you. Um, actually, we changed novice to recruit, so there's recruit, normal difficulty, heroic, and legendary. So guys, thanks for checking this out, leave some comments, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good one.